In this nerd bite, I'd like to show you how to configure the charts that are displayed in a workload for different entity types. When you add an entity to a workload, the golden signal charts that are displayed are pre-configured. In this workload, I've added a single APM entity. It's just a simple node app. You can see when I switch to the activity view that the workload automatically renders three charts for APM entities the golden signals response time, throughput and error rate. Perhaps you want to show different metrics here or adjust the queries. Well, the golden metrics API lets you do just that. Each entity type can be configured individually, but they can also be configured for a specific workload. And that's what I want to show now. To change the golden signal metrics used, we must use the GraphQL API. I want to keep the first two metrics and then add my own. To make changes, we need to find the mutation operator entity golden metrics override. First, we provide a context. In this case, it's the workloads GUID. Let's grab that from the workload metadata. We need to set the domain, which in this case is APM and application. We can choose the response fields too. Now let's go back and configure the metrics field. This can take an array. I'll copy in the configuration for the two existing metrics we want to keep. You can see the workload has changed to show only these two metrics. So what metrics shall we add? Well, currently response time is displayed using an average. Let's consider the 95th percentile instead. Here's a query that does just that. We need to convert this query to the metrics configuration. We'll do this field by field. Title is what's displayed. Let's call it 95th response time. Name, this is a unique name for the field. From, this is the data table we're selecting from, which in this case is transaction. The select is the data we're selecting, the percentile in this case. Entity ID is the entity ID field. For transactions record, this is entity GUID. Finally, we want to facet by app name. In this example, we only have one app, but you'd likely have more. So let's submit this and take a look. As you can see, our new metric has appeared. Let's quickly look at another example. In this case, we have this query that shows the number of requests that are not the 200 response code. The configuration of this query looks like this. It's similar to before, but notice we've added an, an extra facet and added a where clause. We reload the workload and there it is. So as you can see, it's quite easy to set up once you have it in place. If you want to reset your workload, then there's a special mutation for that called Entity Golden Metrics Reset. If we run this, it will reset us back to the start. I hope you found this useful. Check out the links in the description of this video for the docs.